The Northern Kentucky Institute for Arts Education provides professional learning in arts integration, which is a teaching strategy that promotes and supports collaboration between teachers of visual and performing arts and teachers of other content areas. Our first year, we focused on integrating the arts with English language arts. This year, we're focusing on integrating the arts with math, and next, we'll be integrating the arts with science. I've been able to take a step back, look at what I'm teaching, how I'm teaching it, and why I'm teaching it. It's really helped me show my students how they can use math in everyday life, how they can see it in the world around them, to physically create something and manipulate an item. There's no replacement for it. I don't get to collaborate much with other teachers, so this has been a really good experience. Just being able to see other people's teaching style, as well as, you know, being able to connect and share our experience with the students. We kick off our program with a summer workshop every year and so we bring those teachers together to learn how to collaborate, to learn what they might have in common, and we give them lots of time to develop an integrated unit together. And then we support them throughout the school year with continued training and coaching and with funds that they can spend on arts education in their schools. The summertime allows us to fully plan a unit that's ready to implement once the year begins because once school starts, we all know that things get crazy and time gets away from us. So allowing us to have the summer to really get most of that nailed down is huge. So the unit that we developed is to do with math word problems. So one of the things that we are going to do is have them act it out and perform makes their education come alive. We chose for the second year in a row to have the Carnegie as our visiting teaching artists in our school. They came last year and it was such a great experience that we were really excited to bring them back. Just teaching them some foundations in theater and um, performing and some of those most basic theater elements. The Carnegie works with schools from around the area doing arts integration programming. So we actually come into the schools and work with teachers and students to help engage those, those classrooms in the arts as a way to connect with the content that they're working on. There's a lot of moments where the teachers come alive understanding what to do with the arts. Ms. Snowy and I collaborated. I teach art, she teaches math. We're working with fractions. We decided to see where the students are the weakest in math and even where they're kind of weak in art. And we both came across like fractions they kind of struggle with. And also for me, it's drawing and proportions. And so we just put the two together. So when we were coming up with a unit, I was like, fractions, like that's it. Because I'm like, if I could do something more engaging to kind of get them in there, to get them thinking in a different way, I would love to do fractions. It made me think outside the box a lot about math. So I'm the chorus teacher here at our school. I was given the opportunity to collaborate with Miss Lindsay, an Algebra 2 teacher, and her class was working on transformations of algebraic functions. What we realized was when you do transformations of functions, they move around on the graph in a very similar way to the way that music moves around on the musical staff. So when Lauren and I decided to collaborate with this, we thought it would be a great way to show the comparison between music as a graph and equations as a graph. I thought back to all of my experiences that I remembered from growing up and being in school. All of the things that I remembered had something to do with the arts. Every project that we did, um, everything that was a long-term memory for me really was tied into something artistic that my teachers had done. For students like me, I want to be the person that helps them make those connections and get the most out of their time here at school. The arts are a way that we communicate, a way that we've always communicated, and so we think it's important that students learn how to analyze artwork and create artwork in every subject area. Anytime students can see how what they are learning in a class relates to other courses or other pieces of their world, it's always worth it.